before he swear got slap news. OH. I O, baby. I O. Let's go. Ohio in the house. How you feeling, my man? I feel great right now. Uh, you know, seriously, the, this opportunity was once in a lifetime. Didn't expect things to go as fast as they did, you know, from last March to now. And then the fight itself went faster than I had planned. So I just, again, I'm ecstatic and still uh, just over overjoyed right now. You know, growing up on an ostrich farm, becoming a welder, could you ever imagine being here tonight? Uh, no. I can't imagine anyone where I'm from can even fathom how, how I got here or uh, how they can find themselves in, in a similar position in the future. You know, most people don't make it too far where I'm from other than either their parents' farm or, you know, whatever blue-collar job they move on to next. So to be a representation of that feels great. Um, you know, Azael had some, some strong confidence going into this match. I know it got to you. Was it personal at that point? Uh, not so much that it's personal that it was coming from him. It's personal because he's my opponent, you know. Um, and I have to kind of find those moments, you know, call him a, a Michael Jordan moment, if you will, where I can take that, that little tiny thing that he says and use that to, as more motivation and fuel to be able to come out on top. You know, actually getting up there and squaring against him, how was his skills compared to how you thought they would be? I thought he was going to hit me a lot harder than he did. When you hit him, did you know that it was over? I didn't necessarily think it was over at that point, but uh, definitely after he uh, knocked his noggin on the table a little bit there, he was pretty well out on the way down. So I was pretty confident that by the time he stood up and walked towards the referee that they were going to end it for obviously his, his safety. You know, what is this going to do for you and your family? I mean, I, like I've said before, and I'll keep saying until I'm done with all of this stuff up here, that's that's one door open to a million more. You know, I can't even begin to explain the amount of things I'm going to be able to do just, just because of this uh, organization and, and them giving me the opportunity to take this belt. You know, I know you're very proud of where you're from. Can you just explain to us what's going on there on the ground and what you'd like to see happen? Uh, Ohio itself needs taken care of. You know, there's been some tragedies going on all over the globe, um, but especially in Northeast Ohio right now, the, the train issues and stuff that have been going on and chemical-wise that people need taken care of need to be done, you know, post-haste. And that, that's for anywhere, not just my state. And, you know, people need to be taken care of in the right manner and, you know, be held accountable for their actions. You know, we're all held accountable for our actions out here, so why shouldn't they? What do you want to do next? What do I want to do next? I want to go home and hug my wife and kids is what I want to do next, but unfortunately I have to wait for that. Um, what about the next opponent? I don't give a shit who it is. If whoever, whoever's calling and knocking at the door can keep calling and knocking. When the contract comes my way, I'll gladly sign it, and I'll see you at the table. I think you're a great ambassador for the entire state of Ohio. You represent for you know many people that are just like you that can aspire to have a dream. All the very best. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Appreciate all you. Appreciate all you. Thank you for coming out.